एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज इम्पोज बैन ऑन एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ शुगर इन ओडो टू स्टेबलाइज प्राइस ऑफ द कमोडिटी इन द कंट्री Interior Minister says the president is bound to act on the advice of Prime Minister and deviating from it would be unconstitutional. <music> Federal Minister for Power says steps are being taken to stabilize electricity tariffs in the country. <music> All parties Hurriyat conference has expressed concern about the safety of illegally detained Hurriyat leaders, activists, youth and women. languishing in different jails of india and occupied jammu and kashmir in russia italy a record breaking number of six turned up to cast their votes in khalistan referendum voting campaign in sri lanka prime minister mahinda rajapaksa has resigned amid mass protest at the government's handling of the economic crisis and now the news in detail Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has imposed a ban on export of sugar in order to stabilize price of the commodity in the country. According to the Prime Minister office, Shahbaz Sharif directed that meeting the demand of people and stabilizing the price of sugar is the first priority. The Prime Minister also ordered for taking stringent measures against smuggling of sugar. He directed for sternly dealing with hoarders, illegal profiteers and the elements involved in creating artificial shortage of sugar. The Prime Minister asked the departments concerned to keep him informed about implementation of his orders. He said the officer concerned and staff will be held accountable for any negligence in this regard. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has directed for preparing a comprehensive strategy to effectively address economic challenges for public benefits. Talking to Finance Minister Miftah Ismail in Lahore today, he asked for making special arrangements to ensure provision of essential commodities to people at low rates. The Prime Minister also emphasized on simplifying banking system for economic welfare of the common man. The National Assembly resumed its session at Parliament House in Islamabad this evening with Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf in the chair. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said the use of inappropriate language against the state institutions and their leadership by former Prime Minister Imran Khan needs to be stopped by enforcing the law and the constitution. To taking the floor he said yesterday Imran Khan used derogatory words against state institutions which is a conspiracy against the state organs and that is not acceptable the prime minister said the last government led by PTI increased the country's debt by 85% and fiscal deficit of 5500 billion rupees he said the last government has mortgaged the future of coming generations by taking massive loans Talking about the much hyped conspiracy mantra by Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf he said the National Security Committee did not find a shred of conspiracy type thing about power outages in the country on Eid ul Fitr Shahbaz Sharif said the government will investigate the matter and submit a report in the country in the house he said it is a fact that the last government neither imported fuel well in time nor ensured maintenance of the power plants to generate sufficient amount of electricity to fulfill power the needs of the country Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah Khan says the president is bound to act on the advice of Prime Minister and deviating from it would be unconstitutional. In a statement today he asked the president and governor of Punjab to abide by the constitution and the order of the Supreme Court. He said the Supreme Court had ruled that president does not have any inherent or residual power. The minister said office of the president is parliamentary democracy is symbolic and it does not have the veto power. Minister for Law and Justice Azam Nazir Tarar has vowed to resolve issues confronting lawyers. He was talking to President Rawal Pindi High Court Bar Association, Talat Mahmood Zaidi, and President Murray Bar Association, Asad Iqbal Abbasi, who called on him in Islamabad today. The Minister for Law urged the Bar Association to hold workshops for training of young lawyers. President Dr Arif Ali has approved appointment of Ashtar Asaf Ali as Attorney General of Pakistan. The president accorded approval to the appointment on the advice of the Prime Minister under Article 101 
of the constitution. The post of the Attorney General of Pakistan had been laying vacant after resignation of Khalid Javed Khan. Federal Minister for Power Khurram Dastagheer has uh, said that steps are being taken to stabilize the prices of electricity in the country. Talking to media in Lahore today, he said the government is committed to overcome all the challenges facing the country with the help of its prudent policies. Spanish Ambassador to Pakistan Manuel Duran Gemin's Reco called on Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Hiran Arbanikar in Islamabad today. Bilateral, regional and global matters were discussed in the meeting. This is Radio Pakistan. The All-Party Hurriyat Conference leadership has expressed concern about the safety of illegally detained Hurriyat leaders, activists, youth and women languishing in different jails of India and occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The APHC, in a statement issued in Sirinagar, appealed to the United Nations, International Committee of Red Cross and other human rights organizations to intervene and come to the rescue of Kashmiri detainees facing risk of life due to unavailability of proper food and access to doctors. The leadership condemned the rising incidents of uh, Indian state terrorism and the ongoing killing spree by the Indian troops in the occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Meanwhile, Indian troops launched a cordon and search operation in Huff Shirmal area of Shubhaya district and blocked all entry and exit points and suspended internet services in the area. A report released by the research section of Kashmir Media Service in connection with International Mother's Day, 22,944 Kashmiri women have been widowed and 11,255 disgraced by the Indian forces personnel since 1989. In Italy, a record-breaking numbers of six turned up for the Khalistan referendum voting campaign in Russia for the creation of an independent Khalistan state and succession of Punjab from India. 40,000 Sikh men and women answered calls by the pro-Khalistan advocacy group Sikh for Justice to cast their votes for the voting process. Sikh's movement for Khalistan has its roots in Indians. June 1984 military action against Operation Blue Star, which was launched against Sikh Golden Temple in Amritsar. So, thousands of uh, Sikh pilgrims were massacred by the security forces and consequently resulting in the assassination of the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi on October 31st, followed by genocidal violence against Sikhs across India. In Sri Lanka, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa has resigned amid mass protest at the government's handling of the economic crisis. He has tendered his letter of resignation to President Gotabaya Rajapaksa. The move came as the island was placed under curfew after violent clashes between Rajapaksa supporters and anti-government protesters in Colombo. The island nation is facing its worst economic crisis since gaining independence. Russian chief negotiator Vladimir Medensky says that peace talks with Ukraine have not yet stopped and are being held remotely. In a statement, he said we need more specifics on hand in order to meet in person. Ukraine and Russia have not held face-to-face -face peace talks since March 29, though they have met by video link. The United Nations has said about 12.3 million children need aid inside Syria and in the wider region where they had fled. UN Children's Agency UNICEF in a statement said children of Syria have suffered so far too long and should not suffer any longer. Syria's war is estimated to have killed nearly half a million people and displaced millions since it began with the brutal crackdown of anti-government protest in 2011. And finally, the weather. Hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. The plain areas will be under the influence of severe heat waves condition. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News.